to my YouTube channel. It's your girl again, Ibro. Today I'll be discussing on scars, that's finding beauty in your scars. Um, finding beauty in those things that have caused you pain or trauma or suffering or even embarrassment. And before I start, I would just love to share my little scar story with you guys so that it could make it more real. Yes. And basically, just for lesson's sake, too. Yeah. When I was in my senior secondary school, one, that's my SS1, based on the curriculum that year, we had to choose between three subjects. And um, those subjects were agricultural science, home management, and food and nutrition. So, like the foodie that I am, I went for home management. And for you guys that are cooking, you also clean the home. So from practical um, that year, that was my first practical in that um, subject at that time. I was going to prepare pounded yam, pounded yam, and a furry roll. So as usual, your parents will have to get you um, some basic kitchen utensils that you use throughout the course of that study, of that subject. So my mom got me mine, and she bought me a small knife maybe because she believed i couldn't handle um, big knives so it's practical where you have to work with time i went to look for a bigger knife that could help me cut my vegetable the next day so i went to borrow a knife from my friend and i just threw it in the bag so the next day um we we're being divided into um, different batches and giving tables where we could stay for a practical. I didn't know that that would be the beginning of something else on my leg. So I was about moving my bag full of my kitchen utensils to my table. I didn't know that the knife was out already. So basically I like carried the bag up to just move to my table as I lifted it, the knife went shh and went up along with me. Yeah. So I didn't even feel anything at that point in time. Then I dropped the bag and I looked at my leg like and I noticed that my leg was divided into two and I was already seeing the white part of my leg, as like the fascia of my leg. Then I realized that something had actually gone through my skin without, without me even knowing. So I rushed and everybody was the whole place was in Hula Baludo, so I was rushed to the hospital. When I was going to the hospital, the doctor said they're going to stitch me up and stuff. Um, after stitching me up, then they put bandage or they dressed the wound, and it was quite big, so I had to carry that um, bandage my leg for more than two months. Then it wasn't quite like a burden to me uh, with my. With that scar on my leg when it, when it later healed because I was in a girls only school and really cared about what was going on in your leg or like if it was the opposite sex or something so I left secondary school I was preparing for post jam so I attended a post jam lesson and this car always made me very insecure that I had to always wear like put on trousers anytime I'm going out put on it like a pant or something because I felt like someone asked me what went wrong there or someone just wants to make you say something that you are trying to forget. So now, that's just my little scar story that really made me conscious, made me uncomfortable, made me insecure. that every scar has a story a story of your survival and your growth a story of a fighter yes a story of someone who has won something seriously like a victory do you understand so your scar story has a lot to say about the goodness and grace of God upon your life your scar reminds you of every time you are living every moment you are living that you would have missed out on your scars should not define who you are. Your scars should not limit where you should be. Every day you wake up to see your scars, you should learn to heal through that process. Do you understand? You should be comfortable and confident in your scars. And let me remind that 
everyone has a scar story everyone has scars it could be the physical scars that you could see it could be the internal scars like emotionally based where um maybe because of let's say a breakup or divorce or let's say losing a loved one everyone has gone through a scar phase at one point in their life and because you just you just don't see it on everybody's face that's just to tell you that they've actually gone through that moment they've actually worked on themselves they have built they have built more confidence in themselves and they are going to choose to rock that scar anyhow they want also make sure that you trust the healing process allow yourself heal you understand don't just stay in the corner and you know and keep um thinking about that experience or that wound so i hope that someone out there that's been hiding those scars and that um someone other that thinks they are ugly because they have scars on their body or someone that thinks they can't do anything just because of a scar or some people that might have gone through breakups and they feel they cannot love again because of such just trust the healing process sit down look at it over again and action start something new so please don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like the video and share bye by your daddy my sl